Capricorn. Hi Capricorn, it's L here to do your September 2019 general love reading. All right, so it's gonna be about love. I hope that all my Capricorns are doing well. I uh, thank you for being here. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, let's start with the angel answers cards, okay? Thank you to those who like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Let's jump into this. Capricorn. What's going on for Capricorn in love? Abundance. Nice. Forgiveness and if you believe. Okay. Let's see. There might have been a rekindling or a reconnection or just um, for forgiveness being rendered to some Capricorn or Capricorn asking for forgiveness. Also, it could be a Capricorn forgiving themselves um, because we have if you believe here. If you believe you can have abundance, you can have what it is you want. Parental care, okay? So you may be concerned about parents or those who raised you, or you may be a parent. It says keep the faith here. Almost like if you believe that something can turn around, that you're good enough. Volunteer, all right? It may, it may be that you need to volunteer information. You need to speak up. You need to, something about the state of Tennessee. I don't know. If you're in the states, Tennessee, I don't know. Um, Someone shouldn't have to read your mind, pull teeth, or try to facilitate all of your mood swings in order to try to come to terms with how you feel about something or how you feel about them. You need to volunteer that information. Or if you don't want something or someone, you need to volunteer that also. Abundance. What is abundance? The five of wands. It could be new love, new marriage for you. Something that you fantasized about. Something you need to take action on. Because if you believe you can have possibly what you want, just keep the faith here. There may be someone you're dealing with who has a lot of suitors. Or this is you, Capricorn. You have a lot of suitors. Could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You may have a lot of children, or you want a lot of children. You may have a lot of women or men coming at you, but it's an abundant situation. You you have what it takes to fulfill the cups. Yeah. Forgiveness. Eight of Pentacles. Talks about working on self and self. Once again, it might be a situation of the Capricorn needing to... The car is only for... Sorry, guys. The Capricorn needing to forgive themselves. Maybe you didn't play everything out right. You didn't play your cards right in regards to a particular person or place or thing or job. Or needing to work on self. Examining self in regards to maybe money. Forgiveness of, of money. Feel like someone owes you or you owe them. This is a love reading. 
or feeling like you need to forgive someone or you need to forgive yourself for staying in a situation that never really manifested into a real relationship or a real marriage. Yeah. Maybe being a part of a third party situation or only never really establishing a real solid union here. Something about you living in the past in regards to that connection. Maybe with an Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, or Taurus. You need to change how you think, change how you are, some lifestyle change in regards to walking into a new mindset walking into a new chapter a new level of maturity if you believe you can heal from this avoid the disaster this comes with making everyday small strides towards healing This might be an uphill battle for some of you. I don't know if something happened in the past for you. Healing from being cheated on, lied to, some deceptive nature or behavior. Finding something out and having to move away, making the choice to make peace with it. Every day you make peace with it until you are completely healed. If you believe you can move away from this. I don't know if it's something that happened to you in the past, parental care. You may be caring for a a mother, a loved one, grandmother, someone who gave you a bit of stability in the past. They may be ill, but it looks like they're going to overcome this, but you may be concerned about their health. They're going to overcome that. Keep the faith. You have restless, sleepless nights about, you know, will it ever happen for me? Am I at that level of, will I ever have real partnership, intimacy with someone? Not sex, intimacy, then the four of wands, a real connection, a real relationship. If you believe, yeah, the will turns for all of us. Some of us are up, some of us are down. In that downtime, you need to always, not just you, but everybody needs to take to the mindset of, of, okay, I'm in that downward spiral. I'm in that downward cycle. Why am I here? What lesson is there to learn? What could I have done differently? What will I do differently? Let me make plans for the future because I know that this doesn't last always. So in, in that alone time and that being by yourself you need to start making plans of what it look like how you'll be what you'll be like in connection in relationship where you'll go what you'll do every day make plans yeah everything starts with the plan everything everything starts with the plan okay volunteer yeah, volunteer how you feel about something. Not five of swords, even if it takes you to not getting what you want, get a loss. But you're going to have to, yeah, it shouldn't be burdensome. You shouldn't have to carry this burden of how you feel or what you want to do with someone. Maybe 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. And maybe you might even lose a friend here or lose a friendship. But whatever happens is for the best. You might lose a relationship, a marriage. Loss of burden to carry. And look what he's doing. Carrying a burden. When you release. The seven of swords sometimes is about releasing that. Releasing that burden. Capricorn, you're going to see things differently in order to get what you want. You may have to sacrifice something. It might be a complete upheaval. I'm feeling like something of the past, something that happened in the past. There's going to be upheaval only so that you can start making decisions right decisions with clarity with new perspective and decisions that are based in permanence like i'm never going back to or i can't go back to that way of or that way of thinking or that way of doing whatever uh let's leave you with some advice I feel like I'm talking to some Capricorns who maybe either have divorced, are divorcing, or are single. There's, yeah. Some of you could be dealing with a Piscean person. Yeah. You couldn't, then the Queen of Hearts comes out. The advice here is. This is regret not saying things. You're going to have to say it because you're in that, that holding place with a particular person where it's, it's the roundabout and you're never coming to the fullness of whatever you say or whatever you don't say, whatever, yeah, you, whatever you say, this is regret not saying things. Your heart is going to be hurt, broken. Say whatever you need to say because this will help you make small achievements over what you, you deem is burdensome. This person keeps you up at night. The, the advice here you know, is for you to go after what it is you desire. Even if it's not a win situation. Spirit is here with you. Answers, Prayers are being answered. Especially in regards to someone in, in poor health. Once again... In saying this, it might be an ending, a loss of a friendship. But new love, new marriage is here on the rising for you. If you stop hesitating before making a decision about long-term stability for yourself. Don't rest in regret. Know that partnership is near. You just need to work on yourself. There might be a friend who's not trustworthy also. Okay? Once again, you need to lay down some burden. You need to speak. Speak your mind. Speak your heart. Speak your peace. Even if it causes divorce, departure, separation, or loss. Okay? Oh, right. All right, Capricorn. I hope that this message gave you a bit of clarity about your situation. Do know that there is greatness on the brink for you once you get through all the mucky junk. You know, things will look great for you. All right. Take care, Capricorn. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Go over to the website and book the one question reading. If you just have a burning question, the link is below or book a full reading. Take advantage of that 10 off 35 coupon that'll get you ten dollars off any reading 35 dollars or more thank you capricorn take care